In the news today, a 23-year-old laborer has found himself in hot water after he was caught by the cops trying to dispose of a quantity of marijuana, ganja, which had been stashed inside of a black plastic bag at his residence today, Saturday. The discovery was made earlier today at the suspect's home which is located at the Ander Neeming village, West Bank Demerara. The retractor span at the Demerara Harbor Bridge has developed major problems and officials say after Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m., marine traffic will be unable to pass for, a few days. The Ministry of Public Works said the bridge would be retracted under the supervision of engineers to allow marine traffic to pass. After this opening, marine traffic will be unable to pass for a few days since aggressive work will be untaken, the minister said. Convicted Registrar of Deeds Expected to Resume Duties Plans are afoot for Registrar of Deeds Azina Bash who was earlier this year found guilty of paying herself just over $4.5 million to resume her duties. GGMC officers come under fire from suspected syndicato gang. For the second time in two days, two officers attached to the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission came under fire in the Cuyuni River on Friday from across the Venezuelan shore at a location called Baboon. News outlets was reliably informed that the first sh elderly GCOM security guard beaten to death. A 75-year-old security guard at the office of the Guyana Elections Commission in Port Kaituma was beaten to death on Saturday, police said. He has been identified as Earl Peters of Ballfield, Port Kaituma police say the man was rushed to the Port Kaituma hospital where he briefly regained consciousness and told investigators that an unknown man attacked him, inflicted the injuries and walked away. Roger Khan files official police complaint over release of sex tape. Shahid, Roger, Khan has lodged a formal report with law enforcement against a well-known businessman and a close female associate after a short video of him in a sexual act went viral on social media, a few days ago. The report was made with the Cyber Crimes Unit but later transferred to the Criminal Investigations Department of the Guyana Police Force. One stabbed to death, another injured following attempted robbery in Berbice. A construction worker was on Saturday evening killed while another was injured after they were attacked by two men who attempted to rob them at Fireish, Currentine, Berbice, Region 6, East Berbice, Currentine. According to opposition leader Joseph Harmon it is ludicrous for the PPPC government to exclude his party from state boards because it maintains that the administration is fraudulent.